Hey everyone, it's Sean. I'm here again at Proves Pets, and today I'm going to talk to you about Sheltapusics. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck is a Sheltapusic because that's a really strange word that you've almost never heard before. Sheltapusic is a type of legless lizard. So, they kind of look like a snake, but they're actually not a snake at all. As we'll see when we pull him out, there's actually very distinguishing features that differentiate him from a snake uh, that are very, very much a lizard. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get Riddle out here and we can take a closer look at him so you can see the differences on why he's not actually a snake. Oh, come here. You hissed at me and caught me off guard a little bit. You were fine a couple minutes ago. Now, as you can see, Riddle here has a very snake-like body, but there's a lot of differences. For starters, when we look at the face, all lizards have eyelids and can blink. Snakes cannot. Snakes actually have a piece of skin over their eyes, so they never have to blink. They don't have eyelids. Also, lizards have ear holes. His is very, very tiny, kind of hard to see, but snakes also don't have ears. Uh, all lizards do, so we can get a little bit of sound in there and kind of hear what's coming along. Now, another distinguishing feature is a little bit harder to tell. When we look at the underside of Riddle here, his body actually stops right here, and the rest of this is all tail. Now, on a snake that was the same size, the body would actually go down to right about here, and this little tip would be tail. Those are the main differences between a Sheltapusic, or legless lizard, sometimes called a glass lizard, and a snake. Now you're probably wondering, how did you get the name glass lizard? Because legless lizard is a pretty easy name to tell. That's because of a special feature he has with the tail, again, which starts here and goes down to the bottom. It's called autotomy, and it is the ability to break off a limb and continue on without it. Now what happens is when he gets scared, a predator might come after him or even grab him, he can allow his tail to break off and actually breaks into tiny little pieces that look like fragments of glass. Those pieces can start to move around and they look like little tiny worms or other little lizards. This actually distracts the predator and has them go after those tiny little pieces while he slips away. And over time, that tail slowly grows back. Now luckily, he might not have to do this very often. A lot of that has to do with where he lives. Now these guys are found throughout Europe and parts of Asia um, and into India, but they like to live underground. So it's not often that a predator is really going to see them all that often. They're built for living underground uh, by not having any legs. They can use snake-like movement to go through the dirt. And in there, they find small invertebrates, things like bugs, earthworms, and their favorite things, snails and slugs. Every once in a while, they'll actually eat small mammals, like if they come across uh, smaller mice, moles, and foals, things like that. Now, they're a very curious lizard once they get out because, you know, he likes to live underground. That's where he kind of wants to go. So he's kind of checking me out right now. If he were to bite, it wouldn't really be that bad. They're not venomous or anything like that. They do have a very, very powerful jaw and a powerful mouth. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they do like to eat snails. So they can actually crush the, the snail shell with one bite. Now, they do like it a little bit warmer. So he's got a very nice setup here with a couple heat lights and some natural uh, bright light coming down on him. And then lots of stuff to burrow underneath. So... It's not often you'll see legless lizards. We do have some here in the United States, but they're more in the South. We don't have any here in Michigan. Uh, if you do see them, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just like with any other animal, uh, the best thing to do is just leave them alone. Animals want to go on their merry way and you can go on your way too. So if you ever happen across a snake or if you're in another part of the world or the US and you happen to see a legless lizard, you don't have anything to worry about. You can just let them be. So we're going to say goodnight to Riddle. And I'll give you one more little close up of him. I'm gonna show you your pretty face off. You're gonna be kind of curious. Yeah, what is that, buddy? All right, we'll put you back. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit of something new, and we will see you next time.